Hello and welcome to day 6 of Lead Code April Challenge. The problem title today is Group Anagrams and if I guess correctly what this problem is about, then today we will talk about canonical representation. And it's something not only valid for strings or anagrams, but also for fractions, for pictures, just to find similar or equal items. But I'm not sure what the problem is, I'm just guessing from the title, title that we'll get a bunch of strings and we'll try to find groups of equivalent ones in terms of being anagrams of each other. So you can reorder characters of one string to get the other. Let's start. Group anagrams together, exactly what I described for every string in the input, make its copy and sort it. And what now? Let's say map of S2 push back S. I need to group by the sorted version. Map from string to vector of strings, M, like a map, and but finally I need a vector of vectors. Let's call it V, like vector. For elements in map, we push back. I will explain that in a moment. Maybe that's okay already. Judging and accept it. Less than one minute, but I owe you a lot of explanation. So what happened? Anagrams are... Is it... Oh, it's not even defined in the statement. That's quite bad from the organizer's side. We look, turn off the timer. When you look at two strings, if you can reorder characters to get the same string, those two are anagrams of each other. So. Also, if something else is anagram with it, then it's kind of uh, what is it called transitive. That where two strings are anagrams and the second and third strings are anagrams, then they all are anagram group. First with string is uh, an anagram pair as well. But here it's, for example, NAT is not anagram with ATE because character frequencies are different. There are a few ways to approach that. One would be for every string to count each of 26 characters because we have lowercase characters. So I can say the number of characters A is 1. Characters B, 0, C, 0, D, 0, E, 1, and so on. So like there will be Ri, count of 26, and count of I will give me frequency of Ith character. For every string I could compute such um, tuple of 26 elements and now I can group by that and for that something like dictionary or here in C++ map or an ordered map is good enough. It's not very efficient, map, map is quite slow and gives extra logarithm in complexity. I could also use an ordered map then it's without logarithm uh, but still quite big constant factor and other things can be done like I could uh, put that into some vector of pairs, like, I don't know, all pushback or back a pair s2, s. I could now sort this, because sort, even though with logarithm, it's, it is quite efficient. And then an, uh, anagrams would be in some uh, consecutive group. Like, you know, even without this array of frequencies, I can, for each of them, just sort characters. From 8, I will get AET. From T, I will get AET if I sort characters like from A to Z. Uh, because, well, for each string, I got it to its most basic form, lexicographically smallest uh, form, and then I can group by that. And this is called canonical representation or canonical form, irreducible fraction. For example, 15 over 20. It is equal to 3 over 4, if you reduce that. And if you want to compare 15 over 20 with, let's say, uh, 30 over, maybe that's a bad example, times 5 times 4, 20, 12 over 16. Like at the first look, 
you aren't sure which one is bigger or if they are equal to each other. But if you reduce each of them, then it's easy to see they must be exactly the same. If you want to compare objects, if they are equal or not, maybe there is a big group of objects, then for each of them, you can get it to its canonical form. It's some simplest possible form, so that for each element of this group of things equal to each other, you would get the same thing. And I also mentioned, I think, image, image detection. If you, let's say, search an image in Google, it is possible to copy-paste an image into Google to ask it about whether this image was used, or in YouTube. YouTube detects in some way if you use other videos or music to copyright you. And how is how can it be done? Maybe the whole database of whole, all videos or all images in Google or the whole music, it is too big, but we can get small samples. Same with strings, actually, but this is not 100% correct. If there is some quote, I don't know, or, or image, but if there is quote, to be or not to be, and something else, a long one. What about just taking first, I don't know, some middle or first four words and searching for that? So for every, I don't know, sentence, we could look at some part of it and search for that. And also this database, it only will contain some small parts of the sentence. It's similar with image detection. Don't store the whole image because it's huge, so many pixels. Take four of them at some particular positions and the database will store for every image uh, for those exactly pixels, is there image for that? For those exactly, for this exactly set of pixels, like this one is green, green, blue, red, is there a picture with exactly this set of properties? I guess I might not make that much sense because I'm not really an expert in things like that. But what is true is that in algorithms, in competitive programming, sometimes you need to get an object to canonical form in order to efficiently detect equal objects or a group of equal objects. One more example would be linear functions. Let's say there is something of form y equal to 5 times x plus 7. But if you have something, some other formula, like 2 times y minus 10 times x, minus 14 equals 0. I think this is the same. Yeah. If you want to check for a bunch of lines, bunch of equations for linear functions, to check which ones of them are equal to each other, or ju just to check if maybe there are some two of them equal, then for each of them we can get it to some irreducible form, canonical representation, something unique, that even if you don't know other things, you know that, okay, from this I will get some set of values, maybe a tuple, maybe single value fraction, and I will know for each object, if it represents the same thing, it will get the same canonical representation. That's it. I hope it was in some way useful. Uh, if no, if I said something wrong, maybe let me know in the comments. I will try to look that up and, um, and clarify. That's it for today. Tomorrow will be day seven, and after that I'm going to prepare something like a week summary with maybe some harder content as bonus. For example, divide and conquer for Maximum Sabare, but also some harder versions of best time to buy and sell, including IOI problem horses, IOI 20, 2015, which was way, way harder, but hey, why not? So see you tomorrow, bye. And there, there are more common things for that, like your, how is it called? Your reducible fraction. It's called irreducible fraction. It's called irreducible fraction. 